Hello and welcome to the NBS show, episode number 487. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So, let's hop right into it, shall we? So, first up is new deleted scene from My Little Pony, a new generation release, Storm Heist. Apparently, this G5 stuff, uh, stuffers aren't done bombarding us with news with, mm, mm, with stuff yet. A new scene has been revealed from My Little Pony, A New Generation, starring Pegasus at a weather factory. Apparently, earlier cuts of the movie did not remove their abilities to fly. The quote does a good job of explaining it all. Alright? But before I read the quote, um, one of the few things that I noticed about this one was that, yeah, um, previously, before the edits, um, the Pegasus could fly, and I, I found that very interesting. And I want to know why the reason they removed that ability. Um, if you watch the movie, you know uh, the in-canon reason, but um, as a, what you call this, um, as a background show canon reason, I do want to know why too. So, okay, let's read this. Storm Heist, a deleted scene from My Little Pony, a new generation that I storyboarded. In fact, that, uh, in, in fact, this is not just a deleted scene, but a deleted, sorry, um, deleted scene, but a scene from a completely different version of the movie. Mm -hmm, okay. In this version, Sunny, Easy, Zip, and Hitch need to get the three magical stones to restore friendship. Okay, that is true, that is true. But the stone seems to be losing their magic right after one last power surge that already caused havoc in Maritime Bay and Bridal Wood. After making it to the Pegasi city, Zephyr Heights, the group plans to elaborate uh, plans an elaborate heist to steal the magic stone during a concert of Princess Pip. There's only one problem. The stone is part of the stage. This sequence was a lot of fun to do, even though I had to finish it in a bit of a rush to make the deadline for the first screening. While I was working on it, I was already clear that this wasn't going to be in the movie, but I still got to complete it, and it was a bless to see it come to life. <clears throat> so, I think this is Instagram? Let's see. No, this is LinkedIn. Okay. Um, you guys can check it, uh, check the video out here. Um, I'm not going to do so because of copyright stuff, yes. But um, this, this kind of um, makes the movie kind of cool in a sense where if the ponies still had their powers things could have been a bit different like uh, it could have totally been a different movie um, how things would go and whatnot that's something else um, there's no real reasoning here as to why uh, the ponies had their powers and whatnot because it did state that um, near the end there the say that yeah this this is going to be scrapped but uh josh joshak joshak uh he still managed to finish it because well it's kind of cool thing even though it's not done by the voice actor and whatnot but uh getting to see the animatics go uh, being animated is kind of cool uh yeah uh, go check it out go check it out yourself uh, i've seen the video i haven't read the blurb that um, Mr. Van Dyke here wrote. So, um, what I read there was the first time. But yes, it was all fun. It was all fun. Go check it out. It was a really interesting uh, version of the movie if it did pan out that way. So, let's move on to the next one. My Little Pony, Harmony Eclipse. Old school style RPG now fully released. 
Oof, I do forewarn you guys. Uh, if you have the chance, download this now. Don't care the quality of it. Just do it if you are interested in it. But if not, let's read it. Back in November 2019, we posted about an in-development pony RPG called Harmony Eclipse, following a style close to the old-school Final Fantasy games of the 90s. It is now officially released, complete with a list of uh, changes making the release of its final build. Alright, let's see. No more placeholders, a more empty seat, uh, no more empty CD without NPCs, Cloud Dales, Manhattan, etc. Uh, rebalanced combat formula, new mechanics in several boss battles, an XP scaling system, an actual puzzle at the hotel in Manhattan. Luna has uh, scan skill now. Okay. This may be improved art assets added in the future. Sorry, uh, they may be uh, there, they may be improved art assets added in the future, but for now, the entire thing is uh, mechanically done. You can find the game over on its MLP forum post. Um, okay. <sighs> I personally downloaded the game, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, I think I might do an LP of it, because why not? Content, right? Uh, other than that, um, mm, not much to say. Uh, I do like the traditional uh, old-school Japanese uh, JRPG, as I said. And we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I, I honestly got... Not much feedback on this one. Um, I haven't touched it yet, but I do have some preconceived notions on how things are done. Uh, if you ever played the classic Final Fantasies, personally for me, I played uh, one on the PlayStation Portable 2 or the Portable 2. I'm not sure about 3, but there were, uh, there were some uh, classic Final Fantasy games that were ported to the... Um, Yes, uh, I, I think they were more like um, remakes of classic uh, Final Fantasies. So if you're ever interested in trying it out, uh, you can go do so there. Or you could try the Pixel, um, the, the Enhanced Pixel version on Steam. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Final Fantasy VI, the official six. Uh, will be coming out in February on Steam. But if you want to try out some of the old schools, uh, from 1 to 5, I think they are available on Steam. So, um, for this one, let's get back to this one. <clears throat> it looks good. Like, it looks good. Um, at first glance, I thought this was kind of a Pokemon-style uh, RPG, but um, <sighs> Pokemon is kind of... Um, JRPG 2 so the look is kind of there I have to play in, I, have, sorry, I have to play it out and see how it works but other than that it's kind of cool so um, let's move on to the next news Hasbro's new lead comes from within uh, Chris Cox of Wizards of the uh, Wizard and D&D name CEO Okay, uh, let's read the blurb. We have some fringe pony news for you all today coming from Hasbro's Twitter account. Apparently, they've, they've gone with an inside air for their new CEO replacing Brian Goldner after his tragic passing a few months ago. Chris Cox will be replacing him come, coming from the digital version division of Hasbro's gaming site, Wizards of the Coast. <clears throat> uh, the actual transition from interim CEO Richard Studart happens on the 25th of February, considering his background in Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, and sorry, um and everything else happening over at Wizards, it may or may not be an efficient... Sorry, uh, it may or may not 
have an effect on the pony side. Digital gaming has been a huge deal for both brands over the years. It would be nice to see our sorry, to see our cartoon equines get some uh, mildly uh, sorry um mildly budgeted content in those sectors rather than the cheap cash grab mobile games we currently have. Alrighty then. So um congratulations Mr. Chris uh, on the uh, hmm, what I say promotion. But yes, uh, still congratulations. This is kind of a um upgrade, so yay. So yeah, um let's see. My familiarity with Wizard of the Coast. Um like I mentioned before, I do heavily play Magic the Gathering. I recently started touching Dungeons and Dragons and they say that Mr. Chris here comes from the digital division. Huh, okay. So as someone who has touched a bit of the online magic games, um mostly arena. I haven't really played around with Magic the Gathering Online, MTGO. Um the uh Magic Arena feels really fun it, it, uh, the interface the um interaction everything is really fun uh, and the there's there's a what you want call this um there's this looting mechanic that you can do blah 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 i mean it's standard fare for digital card games where you do this to get packs and so on blah 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 i mean I personally don't do that because I like to have something physical in my hand when I do buy magic products. <laughs> but for this one, uh, this is cool. And um, from the Dungeons and Dragons side of things, uh, the way that things are done there is pretty cool too. Um, they have this website called uh, D&D Beyond where you can play Dungeons and Dragons online. Uh, you can buy their module over on their website and you can share it with your friends to run the campaign and so on. So the um, interaction, the feeling there is kind of cool. And this is not the first time we had some Dungeons & Dragons crossover stuff with ponies um, or Wizards of the Coast uh, crossover with ponies. So back in the days, we had the My Little Pony uh, Magic Gathering crossover. Then later on, there's the Magic Gathering. Um, there's the My Little Pony cross Dungeons and Dragons. Um, those were done with uh, G1 figures instead of um, instead of the G4 figures. But still, um, crossover starts, uh, <laughs> crossover is still crossover. So that's cool. But other than that. Uh, there's nothing much in that sense. So, will Mr. Chris here kind of cross things over? Um, will, will he try and bring whatever he had before into this and that? No, I mean, this is kind of a, how do I put this, touchy subject. Because, yes, uh, let's just say that Mr. Chris here is passionate about um, wizard stuff, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and whatever IP that they hold. I, I, I don't remember. I only know those two. So, let's just say he's very passionate about those things. And he wants to cross over with whatever they have. Um, Monopoly, Magic the Gathering, Monopoly, Dungeons and Dragons, and so on. Or whatever it is. Um, so, getting... Those two things to merge together would be kind of a cool thing, but I, I I guess he has to think about the shareholders, the stocks, whatever the bigger picture wants him to focus on. Because yes, uh, as us nerds now, we we do like uh, we would love to see a My Little Pony Magic Gathering set, but yay, that would be really awesome on my part because yay, I I could have. 
um, build decks around it, whatever it is. But that's me as a fan of ponies. But what about the general public? Because uh, later on, they did announce a few things for Magic. Um, there's going to be Magic the Gathering crossover with Warhammer 40k, um, uh, Lord of the Rings, and then there's also crossover with other IPs. Uh, Street Fighter's one of them. And then there's uh, Street Fighter, there's um, Fortnite, and there's a, there's a lot of other things that they have in the woodworks to cross over with. So how would that appeal to the mass audience? So, uh, for example, like, like let's just say that they want to do a crossover between Magic and Ponies, and Ponies and D&D. So one of the things is that, in my mind, in my opinion, is that where is the focus for this product going to be? Um, yes, you can do a crossover, but w will it fit the theme? Will things melt together very well and whatnot? So having, oh, sorry, um, so having just mash two things together and not work out might be not the best because um, the way I'm thinking of it is age, age appropriate, appropriate um, IPs. Uh, yes, granted that Magic the Gathering and Ponies did the crossover once before, but that was for, uh, what you call this, a charity drive for Extra Life. So, granted, yes, uh, the, I, the those two IPs may not work together, but because of the fandom, it's one of the driving things to get... Um, give me a second, I'm trying to think... Uh, it, it wants over the driving factor to um, do it because Hasbro might know that bronies are very charitable when it comes to charity and doing this kind of is cool. Uh, if I do remember right, only uh, Hasbro only take a $10 cut out of the full thing. Uh, what was it? Uh, the full thing was about, what, $10? No, sorry, um, $30, uh, $40, something like that, and they only take a $10 cut out of it and the rest goes to Extra Life. So uh, I totally forgot about that one. I, I got my thing. I'm very happy of it. Uh, so as we move forward from now, we'll just have to wait and see how things go. Um, Magic Gathering is coming out with a new set. D&D um, is coming out with new modules, new books and whatnot. So things on the wizard side is going perfectly fine. Um, I'm not 100% sure about the toy department or the Hasbro part of Hasbro. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I do expect that we might get crossovers in the future. Um, how would that work and how would that be? I got no idea, but it would be cool to see Jace the Mind Sculptor or Jace Bellerin in the Pony Universe. Questioning how does everything work? <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, let's go to the last news of the week. Ah, Netflix no longer showing a last day to watch notice on Friendship is Magic. In a twist of possible good news concerning the Netflix cross Friendship is Magic saga, it appears that the last day to watch tag has disappeared from the show over on the streaming service. If true, this could be very well mean that Friendship is Magic is here to stay, at least for now, on Netflix. On Netflix, Good news for those who want to keep watching the show, either for the first time or for a rewatch. Keep your fingers crossed. Alright, um, not how I imagined that things would go, but this is kind of good news. Um, a while back we reported that Friendship is Magic is going to leave Netflix by the end of the month, and it seems that it could be not true. Um, I, I don't really know how Hasbro makes money out of streaming to Netflix and vice versa. Well, technically, Netflix makes money via people subscribing to their uh, service. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how Hasbro does it. But yes, uh, this is kind of good news for now, but... Like I mentioned before, 
if you could get a physical version of the show, mm, not really physical, but if you can get a copy of the show for yourself, that would be much better because if Hasbro, if Netflix pulls the plug on it, you'll be screwed. You, there's no way for you to catch the movie or whatever it is. So yeah, um, having sorry, um, having uh, this right now is kind of cool. It's all good all around, but I do wish that uh, Hasbro decides to put more DVDs or whatever it is online so people could just buy it. So, <clears throat> that's the news for this week. So, um, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing in my week. So, what have I been doing that, 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 that. have I been doing my week? I don't think much really. There seems to be a lot of work for me to do. I haven't had a lot of time to do much activities. Uh, I haven't been playing magic and stuff. Like, I have been doing a lot of work, a lot of personal life stuff, and things have been really, really busy on my end. I, I, I do wish I have the, uh, what you call this, um, personal downtime that I can do stuff again. But man, uh, things have been really um busy on my end other than that um yeah can't say much um let's see uh what do i have in store nothing much really um there's no movies for me to watch there's no things for me to play um well i do have one thing i wanted to play well two things now um one is a secret project that i am thinking of doing there is the um what was that game called again? Um uh, Malarboni, Harmony Eclipse, yes. So that's something I want to touch upon in the future and make content for it. So yeah, um that's going to be something for the future. Other than that, there's nothing much. There's nothing much. So let's let that blah, 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 blah. so let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbcgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, let's see. Okay, and also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon and to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, please do... Um, subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me and some people who are not too busy to join me in reviews of the Pony episodes, comics, movies, specials. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those could be cartoons, animes, mangas, comics, video games, and movies, and anything else that sparks our interest at the time. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive, and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mirror Show. See ya.